Hello and welcome back to another episode of the uh, Jay-Z NES Nuzlocke Challenge. And today's episode is going to just be a little bit of grinding around the Goldenrod area. But first we got a call last time um, from a certain old friend of ours from way back uh, a few episodes ago. Um, gosh, it seems like forever ago now since I recorded those episodes twice, but... Um, we got a uh, call from our friend Anthony, the, uh, the hiker, the hitchhiker, hitchhiker, hiker, uh, anyways, the hiker guy, uh, right outside of the Union Cave, and we are going to go and battle him again, because he wants to, uh, try and defeat us again, so, basically, uh, we're just gonna go back there and do that, because... You know, we can use all the experience we can get at this point. We don't want another loss. And, uh, I really want to avoid that. So, we are gonna, and this is, okay. And so, this is the other thing. You know, everyone hates these, uh, the pokey gear and whatnot. And, and this is the other reason I really actually enjoy it. Because these people want to go and battle you again. And then their Pokemon only get better. And when their Pokemon get better, then... You've got more of a challenge, for one thing. The second thing is, uh, that once their Pokemon are better, then, you know, there's more of a level there and all that. So, it's going to give more experience, and it's going to allow us to level up faster our Pokemon. So, we're going back, and we're going to definitely fight that guy, because without that, um... We may not be strong enough to fight Whitney. And God forbid that. I'm going to be strong enough to fight Whitney. I will not let Whitney beat me. And not at this point. We beat Krokona. We beat Mayab. We beat uh, two gyms already. Ain't giving up this easy, you know? So... Okay, just making our way through the Ilux Forest again. Yeah, I don't have a uh, fly yet, which you don't get until uh, Mahogany Town. Uh, no, not Ma. I'm, not, uh, I'm trying to think of the name of the the island. I know Mahogany Town's the one with the rockets and stuff. Um, and Lake of Rage. I'm thinking of the other area. What is? Uh, what is the other one? The, the island. Out in the middle of nowhere. I don't... Oh, Paris. Wow. That reminds me of, uh, little Toad there who passed away last episode. That's sad. Anyways, um, I'm trying to think of what the hell that place is called. Anyway, you know the island where there's the gym and all of that, uh, that is where you get fly I think as far as I remember so <sighs> we haven't caught a Pidgey yet so even if we had fly it wouldn't really do us any good I don't know who our flying Pokemon is gonna be eventually no idea maybe the Nuzlocke will shine brightly on us today or some other day. With a flying bird Pokemon. Hey, you don't count, uh, Metapod. So, get the F out. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Anyways. I wonder if, uh, Sand Slash can learn a cut. Because we are going to be needing it in the future, obviously. What's past is past. We have to get over it and, uh, just kind of move on. So... Um, if Sand Slash can learn Cut, then we're definitely going to have to teach him, her, that. For sure. Okay. Man. Okay. There we go. We beat the little stupid Metapod. <laughs> I hate Metapods. I hate them so much. They're so annoying. Okay. Oh, we need cut right now, actually. 
where we can't get back. Oh boy. If Slash can't learn cut, then we're screwed. Because I ain't teaching it to a main guy. No way. Good. Not teaching it to Felix either. He doesn't deserve that burden of holding that. Not that I don't love you, Slash, and you little, uh, sand slashiness, and got super excited when we caught you, but I'm just looking forward to having that Eevee on the team, really. Not that you're any less valuable. Don't think about it like that. Okay. So, we are gonna go fight Anthony here. Oh, oh, I forgot. Maybe we can catch a slow poke down there. In the, uh, oh, hey, buddy. I've been waiting. Let's battle. Oh, nice. All right, uh, a slow poke down in the well. So we're going to go look down there and see if there's something we can catch. Or a Zubat, maybe. Okay, Geodude, level 11. Interesting. Mm, I'm thinking... Mmm, GA. Critical hit, huh? Well, why don't you suck on my magnitude six? Boom, it is super effective. Slash grew to level 9. Slash at level 8 or 7. I don't even remember. Okay, yes. We need to switch back to Slash. Some chop is level 11, so... Alright. Um... I don't think Slash is going to be able to handle it. Let's switch out to Felix. Is Felix a normal type? That might be a bad, uh... Oh my gosh. Okay. I am a little gun shy after the last time. Oh, we got this handled. Felix is so good. Alright, there we go. Boom! And you have been defeated once again, Anthony. You helped Felix almost level up, so there we go. Whoa, buddy. You almost zip. Alright. Cool. We defeated him again. Uh, I'm going to go heal up and see if we can uh, catch anything like a slowpoke down there. If we can catch a slowpoke, cool. If not, then whatever. I don't know that slowpokes are particularly good, but... Hell, if we can catch anything else down there, like a... A Zubat or something. Uh, that'd be cool. More the merrier, because you never know when one is going to pass on. So, let's go and see what we can catch down there, down in the well, if we can catch anything. I'm, like, fairly certain you can catch something down here, so... We shall see. And if not, uh, I know you can catch something behind the rock there. I don't know if you can get something on this side, though. Oh, we got a Pokemon. We got a Pokemon. What is it? It's a Zubat. All right. Uh, right. I'm pretty sure that this still is under the... Uh, not the duplicate clause, but against that rule to where uh, basically even if we've run into this before, it doesn't matter. So, okay. This time we're gonna catch you, Zubat. Zubat might not be uh, too bad of an addition to the team. I could see a Crobat being pretty useful. Man, come on now. Hmm. Defense girl. I don't know why I 
Peace defense curl. Um, I think I need to use a berry. Do we have the berry that, uh, you, oh, come on now, really? Hmm. All right, let's just try catching it. Why not? I'm not ris risking slash over it. Well, there you go. We caught it. Zubat. Nice. Very good. Very good. Very good. As you may know if you've been uh, watching for a while, it's actually kind of ironic because right outside this cave, we actually lost to a... Uh, we, well, we didn't lose to it. We killed a Zubat uh, as our first Pokemon out there. So it's nice that we have this as a backup. What are we going to name it? Vlad, welcome to the team, Vlad. Well, the box, really. Um. Okay, so Vlad, our um, our Zubat, yeah. Okay, good. Well, that was a eventful trip. Bing, bing, okay, let's um, so let's head back to Goldenrod now and try to do some of the stuff around there. Um, I think there's a few trainers in the park you can battle. There's also a few trainers outside Goldenrod City that you can battle, and also. Um, a route up there where we can catch a Pokemon as well. And, uh, the underground tunnel, which we still have to do as well. But, there is an area we have to leave, um, open because if we catch a Pokemon in it, then... We can't catch Pseudo Wudo, so we have to pay attention to where exactly Pseudo Wudo is uh, when catching Pokemon, so we don't catch a Pokemon there. Pseudo Wudo is kind of on his own route, but uh, regardless, it's uh, it's not a good thing to catch a Pokemon there because then we can't catch Pseudo Wudo. And I really want Pseudo Wudo, actually. I know that kind of seems lame for Nuzlocke, but uh, I don't think Pseudo Wudo is that bad. I, I actually really enjoy him. And when we have such limited options, we might as well have a Pseudo Wudo on backup. So. That's another nice thing about this game. You don't have to go into your inventory and, like, uh, select cut like the first game, which was tedious as all hell. Man, there's all these Parises here. Just can't leave the past in the past, huh? Well, at least we never have to go through this forest again. Oh well, we'll just um, we'll just keep going, keep moving on. So yeah, we're gonna go to the underground uh, tunnel eventually and try to um beat all the trainers down there we have to be careful with a few of those though because I know they have Voltorbs and Electro uh, Electorbs Electrodes which uh, can self-destruct but also wait a second I just thought of something okay so I was watching the Super Carlin gaming in between these episodes when some stuff was rendering uh, for one of my episodes uh, for this show anyway 
And uh, he was talking about how he didn't think that the Ghastly would be of any help um, against Miltank, right? So, but he was talking about because uh, Miltank has Scrappy, which is an ability that allows um, it to attack Ghost-type Pokemon. But in this generation, there aren't those. He was playing the remake, so... I'm thinking that our... Oh, Anthony again. Good morning, it's me, Anthony. How are you doing? My Geodude's looking awesome. I wish I could show you. Oh, yeah, I managed to beat a hop-up the other day. It was pretty strong. See you later. Oh, yeah, you have, you know, rock-type Pokemon. Um, I'm thinking our ghost strategy against Whitney is still pretty sound It for the older version, this version of, uh, of, uh, gold, because, um, because, um, the, she, she's not going to have the ability yet, so, I think we have two options then, so we have, uh, our Geochick, uh, Chie, who is obviously going to kick all leagues of ass with her magnitude, um, on the, uh, the mill tank, or we have our Ghastly, which could uh, put it to sleep and potentially uh, clinch us the victory there by putting it to sleep, knocking it out for a few turns and allowing us to then go in for the magnitude or just lick it to death or something. I don't know. Um, either way, I'm okay with. So, let's go beyond Goldenrod right now. Uh, wait, we should probably heal uh, Slash. Yeah, we need to go to the Pokemon Center. Okay. So, yeah, let's go beyond Goldenrod, and we'll go to the upper path and try to catch something, as well as uh, possibly fighting some trainers. Get some experience. Because Lord knows we're going to need it. A lot. So, alright. Let us begin again our journey to, uh, well, not to Ecritik yet, but, uh, oh, past, uh, past Goldenrod at least, and, uh, up into that path there. Okay. I think that's where you can catch a Vulpix up there, but I'm not necessarily looking to catch a Vulpix. If we catch a Vulpix, I mean, that's a great Pokemon to add, but... Um, if we don't catch a Vulpix, that's okay, too, because we already have, um... Obviously, Firefox. Vulpix would make a good backup, though. Let's speak of the devil. Okay. Slash. Not a good choice. Let's try... Mm, Chie. I think that's our best option. We haven't really got a good team to face fire Pokemon either. Oh, it's gonna roar. Of course it's gonna roar. Who's gonna send it? I don't want to fight you with Slash. I'm not gonna fight you with Slash. I'm just not going to. I just won't. I'm not fighting you with Slash. You can roar all you want, but shit's not happening. Slash isn't strong enough. Thinking magnitude's gonna do it. Cause I think fire types are weak to uh, ground types, which well, they're weak to ground type. They're are they also weak to rock type because uh. Rollout is a rock move, and I always remember uh, Quilava. My Quilava, back in the day, being owned by that move multiple times uh, when we reached Whitney, so. Oh, fuck. Alright. Camper Elliot. Send out a Sand True. Yeah, you got a Sand True? We got a Sand True. Uh, kind of the reverse, though. Ours isn't as, ours isn't as powerful, but... Uh... That's okay. He's going to retreat while Felix comes out and finishes the job. Scratch. Okay. Not too bad. Very swipes. 
Boom. 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 All right. Just one more time with that, and we'll be good to go, I assume. Varying on the uh, defense curl there. Or that second defense curl there, and me missing the attack. Oh boy, come on, come on, come on. First swipes. He's gonna scratch again, that's okay. He's not very strong anyway, so. Boom! Take it, Sandshrew! You down! You going down! Slash grew to level 11. Oh, Slash learned Sand Attack. Very nice. Felix grew to level 19. Good. Good job, Felix. Keeper Elliot is about to send out Meryl. Yeah. We're going to send out Splinter. Good old Splinter. Wow, the Pokemon are really starting to get uh, stronger now. I'm not quite as overpowered as I used to be. Hyper Fang, direct hit, pretty good. Hopefully this water gun doesn't hit for much. Nope, uh, a little bit, but not too much. We can withstand it. Good, good, fainted. Yes, and Splinter grew to level 19. Good shit. Splinter's gonna evolve soon too, I'm, I'm assuming. That'll be a good uh, morale boost for the team. We need something like that. Okay. Okay. Do do. Just switching around everyone so the weaker guys get some experience too. Not that anybody's weak, but you know. Weaker. Relative. Okay, now we gotta fight his girlfriend. <laughs> My boyfriend's weak, so I can't rely on him. Wow. <laughs> Amen to that. That's like the entire model of my uh, team. Don't rely on the boys. Except for, uh, for it. Uh-oh. She's got a Pikachu. Wow. I want a Pikachu. Yeah, we got somebody to handle your Pikachu. Geodude! Or Geo Chick, as it were. Or Geo Chick Chie. Coming at ya. Watch this. Boom. Handle that, Pikachu. Rock throw! Boom! Uh, Should have been one hit. Maybe it would have been uh, more affected by the ground move uh, magnitude. Everybody's affected by magnitude, though. Alright, good, good. Pictica Brook was defeated. Oh my, you're strong! Alright, good, good. Okay. Yes, I've been getting Pokemon data off of my radio. I think I'm good. Well, do you? Not as good as I am. Not to brag. Okay. Ivan. Sent out Diglett. Ooh. It could be tough. Oh, it's just level 10. No big issue. We should hit up us. Uh, boo? Diglett use Growl. Okay. Hypnosis. Good, good. Hypnosis is working. Good. Excellent. Boo needs to learn something else like Nightshade. Um, which is in the 20s, I believe. Lick's not bad here. And again, we have an 8 level difference, so Lick should be pretty decent. Still fast asleep. Good, good. All right, lick, and it's down. Boom. Good shit. All right. Yeah, we'll switch out for Slash again. Level 14 this time. Okay. 
Slash is actually making his way up through the ranks a little bit. He's uh, level 11 now. Or she is. I'm sorry. I keep saying he for Slash for some reason. It's because I wanted to name uh, her Drew. <laughs> okay. I don't even think we need to really uh, hypnosis. There we go. It's po uh, paralyzed anyway. Why do I keep saying poison? I mean paralyzed. It's odd. Okay. Do go use growl, which could be annoying. Lick. Okay. I want to know where you got a diglet around here. Like, what the heck? Like, in the universe and lore, I mean, is it like in the, the Union Cave or like the, uh, the, uh, dark, uh, what was that? The Dark Cave? Is that what it's actually called? The Dark Cave? Huh. Might have been. Anyway, the first cave, you know. Could have been. A Zubat. Okay, we got that handled. Oh, Zubat's not affected by uh, these. Let's, uh, let's switch out for Firefox. Level 10. Okay. Leech Life. Not too effective. That was a critical hit, too. Okay. Ember! <laughs> Down for the count. Hmm. Doop to do, doop to do, doop to do, doop to do. All right. Okay. There's two of them now. I made it by both of them. Well, this guy must be evil or something. <laughs> His ball dexterity. Irwin. That's such a nerd name. Voltorb. Oh, a level 2 Voltorb. How about that? Easy. Cut. Boom. Done. Forty-three. Good. Voltorb. Nope. Don't need to. We're strong to Voltorb anyway, so there you go. I think. Alright. Really not doing much. Yep, I think we're at a good match against Voltorb. I think the next one's gonna be level 15 and the next one might be level 20. I'm not actually sure. Uh, that could be problematic, but we'll bear with it. No, oh, well, there you go. That's a lot of experience. Uh, Voltorb. No? I think we're good. Level 14, okay. Handleable. It's just defense, I think, yes, okay. Not just defense, but you know what I mean. It's not too bad. I don't think it can hit me with electric attacks anyway, so. Unless it has explosion, which could be terrible. I guess I didn't think of that. I don't think they have explosion at this point. That would be pretty cruel. Okay. Okay, it screeched. Good. Good. Oh, thank God. Okay. Da -da -da. Okay, nice. Nice. Didn't have explosion. Very good. Oh, wow, Voltorb. So surprised. Okay, let's see it. Level six, huh? Interesting. Why is it level six? It's odd. Okay. And oh, it was faster, really. And we defeated Irwin, the loser. Okay. Can I fight you? Your Pokemon look tough. Okay. I can fight you at night. Alright, let's fight this guy. It's probably a fire breather. Yeah. I can tell by a sprite. Okay, fire breather Walt wants to battle. 
Well, it sends out a Magmar. Whoa, whoa. You been to Burn Tower or something, buddy? Jeez. Magmar. What in the world? <sighs> I should have seen that coming. Well, that definitely sucks. There's another one. Another one bites dust. Yep. He's gone. I didn't think it was going to do a lot. I mean, normally, fire-type moves don't really affect uh, rock and ground types that much. I don't think, anyway. So, I didn't really think it was going to be a problem. I mean, we were actually the higher level. So... <sighs> Rest in peace, little buddy. I'm sorry. You're a good guy. Damn it. Okay, good, good. Magnitude 9! Coming in to bring it back. Getting your revenge for little Drew there. I'm always gonna call her Drew now. Boom. Freaking Magmar. Sorry, little buddy. I don't know where to catch anything now. Great. It's just fantastic. Well, this has been an extra long episode, so I'm going to end it here. Uh, thanks for watching. You leave your condolences for a little, um, little slash or Drew, as I like it, in the comments below. I should have been more careful there. That was really stupid of me. Uh, thanks for watching, and subscribe. Stick around if you would like to, if you want to see more of these Nuzlocke videos that come out every week, once a week. And um, like the video, comment, subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching, and hopefully have a good day. Because... Mine has uh, consisted of lost audio and two deaths, so don't, uh, you know, just count your blessings, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I know it's just a Pokemon game, but still, it's, uh, it's a little bit tough. So, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, uh, and stick around for more. Bye.